Benigno Rodriguez is growing a tiny bug called the cochineal on his farm in Mexico. The bug was once used in pre-Hispanic culture as a natural dye for clothes and art until it was replaced with synthetic colors. It's been a lot of work to rescue the culture that was lost. It's a culture that our ancestors gave us and that we have forgotten. My colleagues and their workers have the job of reviving this precious crop. Cactus growers like Rodriguez are working in the shadow of the massive El Popo volcano to cultivate rich crops of the cochineal, which feeds off cactus leaves. Even after they're shaken off leaves and killed, the bugs retain their rich red color. Their natural properties have become a hot commodity as retailers and manufacturers seek organic products, according to Alberto Jimenez from Mexico's Agricultural Ministry. One kilo of cochineal grain from the dry insect is being sold today at 25 to 30 dollars a kilo. This raises the value of agricultural production and on the other hand it corresponds with the tendency to use organic products which support and helps market demand and the health of the population. Officials have invested in research and development to help rebuild the country's cochineal sector as it overtakes the market value of corn and beans. The red color of the cochineal can be found in many food products such as jams, juices and cookies and is also used to dye pharmaceutical tablets. Maria de la Paz Zambrano is head of a cochineal breeding campaign in the town of Nopaltepec. Mexican grain is the best because it has the best concentration of carmitic acid because the grain knows its origins. So with this, it's going to reproduce more. Authorities say they hope to see farmers grow three tons of the bug for market every year.